I'm meteorologist Adam Stiles. We're here in High Park. Turned out to be a lovely afternoon here across the GTA. There is a little bit of high cloud cover still lingering, but uh, for the most part, we're going to be in great shape here as we go through the rest of the overnight hours. Tomorrow, though, a bit of a different story. It's going to be a bit on the soggy side. We do have some strong thunderstorms down into Windsor. Severe thunderstorm warning was issued there with a few of those cells producing a few of those heavy downpours and some strong gusty winds. Those will steer clear of the GTA as we're going to catch a little break overnight tonight. But what's back in behind it, you can see just on the uh, far left-hand side of your screen is the next system that is on the way. This one producing some rain. It is going to be heavy at times if we get right into the thick of it, and we are going to find ourselves with some significantly cooler air moving through. We're at 20 right now because of the southwest wind. But during the day tomorrow, look at that seven in Milwaukee and Minneapolis. Get comfortable with that because that's basically the story as we head into the day tomorrow. So we snuck out another 20 degree day here across the GTA. Taking a look at how things are setting up. That warm front is going to drape right over us. And what that does is set up that wind off of the lake, which means we're going to be into some cooler air. But we are going to be into a clear sky at times tonight. More cloud cover, though, on the way during the day tomorrow. And then that rain rolls in from mid morning, continues in through the afternoon and evening. In fact, into the early overnight before we'll actually see that cold front moving through the area. And that is going to take our temperatures back below the seasonal mark. We will dry out during the day on Friday. A lot of cloud cover is going to linger around as well. In fact, we're going to see clouds sticking around into Saturday from this storm system. But we will be dry Friday and Saturday, and then on Sunday we'll get into a little bit more sunshine. On the Futurecast model, you'll see at 6 o'clock in the morning, the showers are just moving into southwestern Ontario. The cloud cover is starting to build back in. By about 9 to 10, we see the first showers in the west end. The rain will be at its heaviest throughout the afternoon and evening. And we'll be prepared for a few rumbles of thunder as we head later into the day. Some heavier showers getting picked up here on the Futurecast model. By 9 o'clock, that front should be through and we should start to clear things back out. So we do have that thunderstorm risk and with that we do have the potential of a few of those heavier downpours to settle in. So our RPM forecast model probably a little on the high side. I'm going to stick to about 20 to 25 millimeters of rain during the day tomorrow. Temperatures will be at 13 degrees here throughout the evening hours. We're down to seven to start the day tomorrow morning. Six expected by midday so we'll cool down and then a quick little warm up to about eight degrees with strong east winds coming our way with that thunderstorm risk. Cloudy skies are expected on Friday with the cloud lingering and temperatures back up to about 10 degrees. We're looking at 13 on Saturday, 14 degrees on Sunday. As we get into Monday, temperatures will be below seasonal. We'll warm back up. We'll bring back some of those shower risks as we head into next Wednesday. That should say Wednesday, not Friday. You know what that's called? That's called wishful thinking. And next Wednesday could be next Friday. Anyway, that's a check of the forecast.